Lydia's driving because I crashed my car. We've pulled up scared! Hello everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 8. I've woken up, I'm not gonna lie, I've woken up and I'm ill. Like I am ill, like it's all in my throat here and I'm just so tired and like you can just feel when you're getting ill, like I've got no energy. Poor Maddie's gone to work today, she's also feeling ill. So this household is coming down with some sort of a cold, but that's why I thought I've kind of cancelled today's vlogmas plans and I'm just going to have like a really chill day because this evening we're going out to the football um, with Gwen. Gwen's going to come over so I'm going to do like a full get ready of me, take you on to the football but I'm going to try and just chill out today because obviously if I'm going to be sat in the cold tonight I need to really rest up. Anyway, I'm going to make a tea. I'm gonna make some breakfast and a tea and look what I'm gonna use, which I've not used yet. I'm gonna use my new Santa mug. This was from Home Bargains, it was so cute, but I wanna have hot honey and lemon, but I don't have any honey. I don't think, I think we've really got golden syrup. Hey Alexa, can you use golden syrup instead of honey in tea? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, yes. You can substitute syrup for honey. I don't think that counts though in hot drinks. Does it? I might just have an Earl Grey tea. But I can eat something warm. Anyway, these pajamas are probably the best things I've bought all year. They're so comfy and cozy and they're so, so warm. Because they're like, whoa. So they're like super, super warm. Um, while that's boiling, I'm gonna put a pan on. just went off my light just went off here oh my god the LED might have run out of battery because all my other lights are fine oh Jesus Christ can LED run out of battery yeah all the lights are working oh that's my favorite light for the kitchen there's like an LED light that like runs along here and the switch is down here, but it's just turned off, look. Aww. Aww. That's like my favorite light. Like, look how horrible that is. Spotlight. Oh, I'm gonna just have to do that on a... Oh, that's horrible. Oh, it's horrible. Right, what tea um, do I have? I wanna have honey. I might just have... Would peppermint and, tea and and lemon be nice? Yeah, or green tea and lemon. Maybe green tea and oh no. Or maybe Earl Grey and lemon. Where's the Earl Grey tea gone? Oh, it's down there. Oh! oh. Right, and then I'm gonna add some lemon. I just put half in. Three little Santa mug. It's one of those miserable uh, Manchester days. Look, like look how dark the flat. Like right, just look how grey it is. Horrible. Let's open up the advent calendars. It's just one of those gloomy, gloomy days. Anyway, let's start off. Um, let's start off with Beauty Works. I think we did eighteen yesterday, didn't we? So I think today must be 19 yet, which is this one. Can't even open it because they're all gonna fall out. I've got it. Oh god, they're all falling out. Number 19, which is technically day eight. So ooh! A restore mask. How nice. Looks like a literal full size product. Restore mask with vitamin E, intense moisture. So did you put this on wet or dry then? Da -da -da. Coat your hair in this for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Nice, thank you, Beauty Works. And then PLT. Let's see what this bitch is saying. Number eight. Oh, oh god. Number eight. Is it number eight today or number seven? It's number seven, isn't it? Oh. 
But yeah, number seven. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, oh my God, I need this. Deep sleep pillow spray from This Works. I need this because I've been sleeping like absolute crap recently. I used to have a really good sleep routine and now I've just completely fell out of it. Like I've had bad dreams two nights in a row. So the other night I dreamed that someone died, like really close to me someone died and it was so traumatic and graphic. It was horrible. And I woke up and like thought it was real. It was like one of those types of dreams. And then last night it was really, really, really strange. Because I feel like, because I'm in the dreams, they're so real. I feel like it's happening. So we were in my bed, me and Maddie were in my bedroom, just chilling. And then I went to lock my bedroom door to lock us in, just because I think we were going to sleep or something. And um, someone locked the door on the other side of the door. So I was like, oh my fucking God, someone is in the flat. Like I was panicking. Um, I like my heart was beating so obviously we didn't know what to do and then Maddie was like I wanted to go and like open the door and I'd be like who's there Maddie wouldn't let me so like Maddie was like holding me back in the dream and I had no contact this is so like like so detailed but I had no contact lenses in so like it was so blurry like I couldn't see really well it was just so blurry um, it, like it was panicking me and I'm like Maddie was holding me back so I woke up in the middle of the night, like heart was like beating so fast. Um, fucking hell. My pan is interrupting me. My heart was beating so fast and then, yeah, it was just a horrible dream. So I need that sleep pillow thing. Ooh, this tea is really good. Yeah, this is just Earl Grey tea and honey. why do you need to soothe me guys i've just been trying to recover from my illness sat down none of the lights are working in the flat the fridge has gone off all the sockets in the kitchen have gone off the sockets in my bedroom work thank god but we've literally got no light the only light that works is in the kitchen so i'm like so confused i've been like tackling with the fuse whatever that thing is the fuse box um for literally like 20 minutes i rang concierge they said someone's gonna come up and help no one's come up maddie's at work so i'm literally just sat in the dark and the heating has gone off so i don't really know what to do but i'm just gonna do a get ready me thank god the sockets work so i've got my ring light but it's, it looks really fucking scary behind me but i can't turn on any other lights so i literally don't know what to do and i'm literally just sat by myself because I literally rang Maddie's work phone and I was like, hi, is Madison there? And she picked up and I was like, Maddie, there's no power, there's no heating. And she was like, oh my fucking God. She was like, right, let me um, try and help you. Oh my God, is that vlog me? <laughs> you know, Chinzy has never watched a single video of mine. Girl, I see enough of you every day of my life. <laughs> Anyway, um, Chins is here to keep me company in the dark because nothing's working. Well, actually, I've got to go. you got to go? Where are you going? Uh, i got to go. I've got plans. What plans? I've got busy, important plans this evening. With you? And whatever you know, lots of people. Without me? Yeah, girl. This is not doing... This Me sat in the dark is not doing great because I had a dream last night that there was an intruder in the flat. Do you not need to be... Sorting out your electricity. Girl, I've been trying. They're, they're going to send someone up from concierge, but no one's okay. come yet. But uh, the flat looks kind of scary. And, like, I had a dream last night someone broke into the flat. Oh, oh girl. Oh, oh, and I'm sat in a dark-ass room with my ring light. Oh, girl, <laughs> Thank oh, God for girl. the ring light. Anyway, I'm getting ready for football now. Oh, feels bad? Feels bad? Yeah. They're playing. Oh, my God, oh, my God. look at my so chest. Girl, I'm trying to vlog here. I think they're playing Newcastle. I've never been to Newcastle Girl, before. you called me. Girl, what? I'm just talking. You called... Right, I'm actually going to... P-O-O. -O. Ew, Wait. people on the vlog can spell... <laughs> I'm sat on the toilet. Let me do my business and be so good. Oh, also, Hugh Grant's in Manchester, our best friend. Oh, he's my best friend. He's my best friend. We saw him at Juice Baby once, and I was like, <gasps> and I didn't look at him because I was being cool. H U G H. Right, I'm actually gonna go. I'm gonna go gym. Um, I just have one more thing to tell you. Uh -huh. 
can I have some can I have some more Christmas present ideas? For who? For you, girl. Use your brain and figure it out. Girl, okay. you have everything. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, she's so rude. Anyway, let's get ready for the football. Um I know I said last night I was gonna tan. That never happened because I was just so tired, I fell asleep. So, my skin is already moisturized. It still looks really nice and shiny from this morning when I did my skincare. Um, anyway, let's get ready. Um, I can't believe I'm sat in the dark right now. And I know that people will be commenting on this video like, girl, you should have done this, should have done this. I don't know what to do. Like, I've done the fuse box, I've done all that shit. I've unplugged everything, I've been trying it out. I don't know who to call. I've got a neighbour that I know upstairs, but like, I don't really want to talk to them. I don't really want to go across the hall, like, so I'm just kind of sat here. And I'm just going to ignore the problem and do my makeup and talk to the vlog. Because vlogmas is more important right now. Um, and I want to get ready and I want to look cute for the football. So, by the way, this area... It's just so much nicer and I can actually like film in here now because behind me used to be that ugly um, coat rack and now it's like my nice little um, perfume stand so it's really nice to get ready in here now. I feel so much better. I know I said in yesterday's vlog that I feel better but like I feel so much better. I don't know where to put this mirror. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna tell you everything I use as well because I feel like you see me do my makeup quite a lot but I never actually explain kind of what I'm using or like the shades and stuff. I'm so bad at saying shade names and stuff. So I think there's these two. So obviously I use these beaten up, look at these. The L'Oreal um, Plumping Tinted, the L'Oreal Plumping Tinted Serum. I use four to five. That's my fake tan shade, so I'm not going to use that today. But my normal shade is three to four or two to three. But I don't think I have a two to three on me right now. This is a little bit, still a little bit too warm for me, but I'm going to make it work because I don't know where the other one is. Oh yeah, today is currently um, the Chanel show in Manchester. And it's in Northern Quarter. I think it starts at like five o'clock. Um, Safi's going with her boyfriend, so she's on her way and she's like sending me updates of like what it's like. So I'm kind of living through her. But I saw today on Instagram that um, Kate Moss was in Ancoats and Hugh Grant checked into the, is it the Gotham one? Um, Gotham Hotel near Rosso, that one. He was in there and there was like loads of paparazzi and stuff. So, but it's literally pissing it down. It's literally pissing it down. So... I don't envy them being have to sit outside in the freezing Manchester rain. But I can't wait to um, get the updates from Saf. So I'm just going to blend this in. This brush is actually one of my favourite brushes. It's the iconic London one. And I just use this edge um, to blend in my foundation. I prefer blending my foundation in with a brush than a sponge. And then I go in with a sponge for concealer. Bearing in mind, maybe like five minutes ago, not even that, ten minutes ago, I ran concierge and he said that he'll send someone up and he's not yet. <laughs> Please, so I just want lights. But I just got my official graduation invite in the post. I think I always, I talk about this graduation every single vlog, but like I am so excited and I was really, really sad that I couldn't go to my summer one. I was just an idiot and like, I would, like, mum was like, oh, is everyone free on these dates? Obviously, I was like, yeah, I'm free. Like, I'm done for the whole summer. Obviously, forgot that graduation is kind of, like, late in, Ju in July. I thought it was more June, so I thought I'd be fine. So, I was really annoyed at myself. Because um, now I don't graduate with my friends. Like, got Gareth and Flory. Like, I don't really get those pictures in my gown with my friends. So, I I'm sad about that. And, like, I am, like, a super, super sentimental person. And, like... I'm just sad I missed out on those, like, memories. Do you know what I mean? So, but it's fine. It's fine. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It's at quarter, quarter past six, though, in the evening, um, which I don't know if I love or hate, because obviously I've got all day to get ready, and I don't have to get to uni until, like, I think it's quarter past four that I have to, like, check in and stuff. Um, so I have all day to get ready. Like, I might get my makeup done. I don't know. Like... Kind of got all day, go out for some nice breakfast, like just chill. So I'm not rushing because the first set of people have to be at uni at like 
half eight in the morning i think not even that like registration opens at half seven if you're the first slot so i thought fuck that you'd be waking up in the pitch black doing your makeup in the pitch black so i'm just kind of a blessing it's kind of a blessing anyway that's all nicely blended in i kind of just blend it in until it looks like my skin do you know what i mean anyway my favorite concealer is the hourglass one this is what amara colum used in her video and i was just obsessed and like it is a little bit on the more expensive side than i would like to buy for a concealer but i just think it's so worth it like this is a product that i would 100 percent say it's so worth spending your money on so i picked up a more um like not a brightening shade for concealer i picked up a little bit of a warmer shade when i went to space and k the other day in the vlog and that is in shade sepia and i also have shade where is this i also have shade oat so oat's more my brightening one so i feel like what i might do is i might put the brightening one there oh yeah like in the middle of my face and then the more neutral one, which is sepia, on the outskirts. I don't think you can tell the difference on camera, but I can tell the difference in the mirror. This dark background is really scary. I really don't like it. I really don't like the dark. Like, that's just one thing I don't like. like I can deal with heights and I can deal with things like that, but the dark oh my god i just hate it i don't know where that's come from but i just don't like the dark i'm just gonna blend that in with a beauty blender yeah this is really not good after my nightmare yesterday of someone breaking into the flat and now i'm sat in the dark by myself but whatever 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 that light it just looks like an eye or something what even is that i don't know but no one's come to my flat yet to check on me uh, from concierge so i'm gonna have to ring up again i'm gonna do my makeup and then i'll probably go down and speak to them face to face because i want my light back topic of graduation i think i've decided i'm gonna go for a purple dress should i show you the options yeah fuck it all right i'll show you the options i feel like i'm banging on about this graduation but i'm just so excited and like i need to just have this moment because like i've not had closure from finishing uni yet it's kind of all just been like a blur so like i need this closure um of my graduation so you're just gonna have to bear with me uh chatting about this in the vlogs for another like week or, week or so but you're just gonna have to bear with me because i'm excited and I like updating you daily of my thoughts of what I'm thinking. This is probably too much for graduation. I don't know, like, what do you wear? But I really like this because obviously we've decided now I'm going to go down a purple route because one of the colours is purple. Someone commented on the vlog and said I should do gold, which is actually a really good idea. But I feel like I might look a bit too Christmassy if I'm wearing a gold dress. But I'm going to look at some options. I'm going to look at some options. But this is the first option which is obviously House of CB, but I think it's the perfect shade of purple because I can't have lilac. It's got to be more of like a dark regal purple if it's going to match me up. So I've gone, I've got that, um, uh, all this. Oh, that's the one I just showed you. I think it's adorable with sheer tights. Like, look how cute that is. I just think that's so cute and graduation-y. And the dress is called Elidia get it it's like me and my name but with an e so maybe that's a sign with like i think it's really cute with tights so so those are the two dresses i'm not um tried them on or anything yet i've not even got, got them yet but like i'm tying up between those two because i think they're the most graduation-y um so we'll see what i wear anyway next step i use is cream contour uh, i use the refi um cream contour in shade tan this is actually a product i've been loving because look i've hit pan and then i just take where's my also i kind of just went to the bathroom and because like the ring light is the only light i can see i'm seeing ring light spots everywhere um so that's great but i just take this real techniques brush and you got to trust the process with this product because it goes on quite bright and orangey but then once it's blend out you just look really nice and tanned and it just adds some like color back into your face if that makes sense it's a horrible miserable night for football but 
We're gonna get in the football spirit. I don't know what I'm actually gonna wear tonight because my warm priority is just keeping warm. Because obviously I am feeling a little bit ill. Like, you know when you can just feel it on your chest? Um, so I want to be really super 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 warm. It's just annoying because when as soon as you get inside you're nice and warm and it's like too hot And then as soon as you go to outside, it's like minus a million degrees Especially in Liverpool because it's near the sea. I thought I would just do a little general uh, Q&A because obviously I know I chat to you every day in the vlogs, but I feel like I've asked some questions on my Instagram I'm gonna do a more tailored Q&A from what I usually just chat shit about on this channel so someone asked, how are you at the moment? And like, oh my God, so much I, <clears throat> fucking hell. It's about quarter past five. We've got to leave at six. So I do have 45 minutes to get ready. Um, Maddie's just texted me. She's happy that it's come back on, so it's fine. I'm going to bronze up. So I use the Makeup by Mario Soft School Bronzer in shade medium and this bronzer is just gorgeous like it's actually gorgeous i used to use the mac give me Sun, but when that ran out i got this and i've never looked back because it's just so such a nice um like a warming bronzing shade anyway back to questions so the second question was any travel plans for 2024 also side note I think I stole this brush off Chintzia because it smells like her. It smells like her perfume, which is like the weirdest thing ever. But like, you know when you like, it smells like her perfume. So this is Defo Chintzia's brush. It is because I've got two. It's literally the Real Techniques one. So, sorry Chin, I stole your brush. But anyway, yeah, travel plans. Oh God, travel plans for 2024. I don't really have a lot right now. Um because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I think, basically, Chin and Mum went to Miami last February, uh, but I couldn't go because I had I had uni. Like, it was, uni was just so stressful, and she was like, please, like, come to Miami with me. I was like, I'm not going to lie. One, I can't be on a different time zone to my lecturers, and two, I'm just going to be sat on the beach on my laptop, and I'll be miserable. So, like, I'm just not going to be much fun, and, like, it, I just... I would have been so stressed and like the thing about me is if I because I think I could have gone but I could have gone and then maybe sacrificed one of my pieces of work so I feel like if I got a bad grade back and I went on the trip I would have just been annoyed um like the Coachella I didn't go to Coachella last year because my disc was literally due in like two weeks before Coachella uh, no two weeks after Coachella I think yeah so I was like I could get my like I could get my um disc done early and then go to Coachella but you fucking hell if you know me if anyone knows me I was Mr. Lastminute.com I pretty much got an extension on every single piece of work uh because my concept of time didn't exist at uni like I thought essays took way shorter than they actually did. I never gave myself enough time. So I was like, I just know myself and I just know I won't be I won't get it done early. I just I knew that deep down. So I didn't go. Um so I'm so excited for this year so I can do trips. I don't know where this um I'm sorry, I am like trying to look for my blusher brush. In. I'm really excited for this year to do trips guilt free. I mean even when if anyone remembers last Christmas me and Chintzia went to Paris it was like the 19th of December and my last essay of the year was due in the day that we got to Paris. I was still doing the essay on the Eurostar on the way to Paris and that evening when we got in for dinner. I spent the whole morning our first morning in Paris doing my referencing because I was just so last minute and I just I had to work to the deadline like I never handed anything in early I was literally the worst so it's gonna be nice to go away and not even have to like worry or schedule my work in it's just gonna be great so I think I might go on the trip with mum and chin they want to go again to Miami in February which I would love to go on because I've never been to Miami before and that was mum's first time in Miami and now she's like the biggest Miami fan like she when she got back she was like you're gonna love Miami like you have to come next year with us like you know those coffee book tables the really aesthetic aesthetic ones we got her one of them with them with Miami and she like loved it so she's a real Miami stan now so I think I'm gonna go there and then obviously I really want to try and go to Coachella this year I think I will end up going and then summer 
annual Ibiza trip with the girls. I think me and so me, Olivia and Maddie had such a ball last year. That Ibiza vlog is the funniest thing either of it like that's the that's one of my favorite vlogs i just find it absolutely hilarious like even when maddie's having a down day she'll text me and be like i put the ibiza vlog on and like i feel fine now because it's just hilarious and we had the best time even though we only just left three nights like it was the best time so i think we really want to go there again and then all i've got booked is we're gonna go to the amalfi coast again with the family we're having that's our little tradition with the family which will be nice so I'm really excited for next year. I'm really excited to like get going and because I feel like this phase has been transitional, so I'm excited for like my fresh start. But anyway, the blush that I just put on is the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Baddie on the Block, which is nice. And I'm gonna use my favorite mascara. This is the Kylash Mas uh, Kylash by Kylie Cosmetics. I think I bang on about this every time I do my makeup, but it's just insane and it's the best one. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh. Just got something on my fucking nose. Um, like it just makes my eyes pop. I need to separate that a bit. Oh, I'm gonna use my new hourglass um palette. Chinsia said that she has this, and it's beautiful. This is why I picked up its space in case. The light, ref light edit unlocked leopard ambient hourglass. I don't know. It's all of those things. Me, give me glass skin, girl. I just need to do lips and I'm kind of done. Makeup done. I just need to add a lip liner, but my lip liners are just, I never keep any of my makeup bags because they're all scattered all over my bags, like my actual handbag. So when I find one to put on, um, I'll let you know, but now I actually need to pick an outfit. Go over to my new changing station with my wardrobe and my, draw, uh, my um, rack. This is probably my warmest coat, this gray one. Or that one, because it, that one's long. This is Chintzia's. I think probably those two. Because my white one's cropped. And I need to be, like, super, super warm. So maybe that grey one. Okay, now what on the bottom? What would go with that? Leather trousers, maybe? I just don't like... Maybe I'll wear that with my boots. I just... I really just don't enjoy wearing trainers these days, like Uggs forever, but because it's pissing it down. I've already ruined a pair of Uggs. Well, I need to get them cleaned. So if anyone around the Manchester area knows where to get the Uggs clean from, please let me know because every time I look at them and they've got mud on them, it just ruins my day. So please let me know where I can get them clean. But I think I'm going to go for leather trousers and that. Mads not even back yet. I've got time. Mads is not even back yet. Um, what time is it? Oh, she should be back any minute. Okay, I'm trying not to mess up my perfectly clean room that I cleaned yesterday, but I feel like I've figured out an outfit. I'm having a sensory overload with all these warm clothes on when I'm indoors, and I've not put on my lips yet. I feel like trying outfits on without your lips on, I just feel weird. I don't know if this is giving football or if this is giving, like, you're going to an igloo. Some white joggers on. I've got this cuckoo bodysuit on, which I got last year. I think it's almost like, it's like a really thick material. So it's like super warm. I think it's almost like an undergarment for skiing. And then of course, you guys will have seen this coat. This is my crop one uh, from PLT, which is super warm. And then I put my little earmuffs on that I got from Paris last year. And look, they have a little pearl headband, but they're kind of a bit big. So they're kind of annoying me, but it's to keep my head warm because I don't really want to wear a hat. I mean, I could wear a cap, but I can't really keep the cap on inside, but I can keep the earmuffs on, if that makes sense. So, Maddie's not even back from work yet. I don't know where the F she is. So I've just been getting ready. I've just been getting ready, taking my time. I've just been sat on my bed and I was watching a Chanel live stream. Because basically, it's in Northern Quarter. So like, all the people that live in the flats um, above the runway and to the side, they obviously can see what's happening a girl on tiktok was live streaming out of her out of her window so i was sat watching that but nothing's happened yet there's like the show's not started so i might have to live stream it when i get to liverpool because i want to see and i want to see if i can see safi and i want to see who's there apparently harry styles is there which makes sense because he's from manchester so like i feel like this is an event that he would go to do you know what i mean she was saying on the live stream that the bar called trough 
is still open for business, which is just next to the Chanel runway. Like, me and Maddie should have gone for a drink there tonight and see if we could spot it. <gasps> oh my God, you scared me. <sighs> Lydia's driving because I crashed my car. <laughs> Tell them what happened. Tell the vlog what happened right now. We're going up the ramp, the parking Papa. garage and our building and it's, we had a bang and I was like, and then yeah, I saw the can, I saw the handle fly off and I thought. Yeah. So basically oh, no. to go upstairs, we're in like the basement of the car park, so you have to go up a ramp. And like it's such I mean it's tight for me. I've got a bigger car. But than I you. got a tiny car, so I was like, I zoom, got a mini. I zoom, I zoom past it all the she time. Like, I literally said, We're running a bit late, so please don't drive like a maniac because I know what Maddie gets like. Two minutes later, she clips this fucking wall and we're just sat in silence. And then we go up and then Good. basically because it happened on the passenger door the door was open because obviously Lily got out to look at it mm. and we we're like oh my god we thank god oh my god I can't believe we did that and then she shut, shut the door and we went it's so bad so, so bad. bad my mum is bloody fuming so we're just driving now kickoff's at half seven and it's currently ten past seven oh. so we're gonna hey, get there okay. have a bit of food we've pulled up scared uh, we're running a little bit late. Our little feet. <laughs> and we're gonna be late, girls, but it's fine. Okay, look at this dinner we've got. We've got a whole la rack of lamb, girl. There's your, oh, you've mm. got some cutlery. And then we've got some potatoes, carrots. I don't really know. And then Mad's got soup. What flavor is it? What is it? Ooh, but the game started. We're already like five minutes in. I'm just gonna watch it from inside as we eat. Give us a score prediction. Oh, I've got a bone. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a score prediction. 2-1 Everton. Wow, Gwen's got a little glass of red wine. I'm a safe driver, so I'm just having a Diet Coke. Right, can we have your score prediction, please? I would have driven, but I crashed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're not talking Girl, about we're not it. talking about it. I would love for 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one. because I feel like 2-1 yeah. makes it interesting. I think it'll be 2-1. Um, you can't copy me. <laughs> yeah, copy I said that in the car. <laughs> I said Whatever. it in the car. But we're just watching, 90 minutes in. I'm so eating. Girl, enjoy yourself. Enjoy your cauliflower soup, girl. Like, I think you should enjoy yourself since this is one night off you're not cooking. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the break, girl. Cheers to Vlogmas. Cheers to Vlogmas. Cheers to V. L. No, go on. You can do the L on your V. 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 L. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, hey, <laughs> girl, it's blog. It's not blogmas, is it? Blogmas. It's vlogmas. Go do it. Give me a V. Give me a L. Give me a O. Give me a G. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that G. Give me a M. Nice. Give me an A. A. Yeah. Give me an S. Black mess. <laughs> oh anyway, we need to do two. Cheers. cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to football. Okay, we're here. We've got the tickets. We've got our little guest lounge. <laughs> the kickoff's already started, guys. But we are so hungry. Oh, I changed my outfit, by the way. I've got leather on. Still got this bodysuit. <laughs> and then I've got him. some. Now that we are talking, talking about it, no respect. Girl. And then Nicola, almost could have Nicola, killed me, Nicola, but it's fine. Nicola said 800 pounds for little time. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, no, 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 no. Don't say like we're not talking about it. We've got blankets. Oh, we blanketed like, up. Quill. Look at them. They're oh, like girls with quills. You oh, can't take it home. She needs a bag. We're going out. Okay, it's all going to come from that side.
we won three nil. nil. No one predicted that. We did two one. We said two one. I even said one nil. I was like, I don't really expect a lot yeah. in this game because they're so bad. Who's bad? No, I said they're so good. Oh. Because that's when we lost 4 1. Yeah, not good. But we've redeemed ourselves. We're just going to sit here. I'm having a little day coke. And then we're just going to chill and we're going to drive home. Go see dad before. Guys, this is what happened to Maddie's car. I was sat right here in the passenger seat. <laughs> I said to her, please don't drive around the corner erratically because we're running late. And what does she do? Smashes into the wall. You know what? Look it at the handlebar. Been... See you later, girl. <laughs> I think we could pull that out, personally, with the hot plunger. I think we could pull it out. Oh. Yeah, but your door still closes. Does it? Yeah, look, it's closed. And you can still get into the car, so I don't think it's that bad. It... <laughs> Anyway, we're back and we're gonna go upstairs. Yeah, I don't think it's that. Oh, it's really bad. Whatever, I'm gonna talk about it more. Gwen robbed all the sushi off us. I literally was thinking, I'm so excited to eat some sushi, and then she got the car with the sushi in one. She took all of it, it was like a full platter. I was like, buy sushi. She should bring her cookies. I gave her two Christmas pudding cookies. She took my sushi, I'll take them. She was like, please bring me a cookie. I bought her two. She's left them in my car. Yeah, I'll have them. I need a way. <laughs> best game I've ever watched. That was the best game. That was the best game I've ever watched football. Like, me too. Day. What's my baby hair, Shay? <laughs> What's my baby hair? Mmm. Mmm. 